one of the five Olympic gold medal winners at the 1976 Montreal Games. There you see the tall, lanky champion. He's as tall and lanky as any of the lighter division champions that we've seen in recent years. At 5'5 five, five on the left, listening intently to the referee's instructions, the referee, Larry Rosadilla of Los Angeles, a graduate of Southern California, and as we said in his 36th championship bout, he told them much of the instructions, WBA rules, and their respective dressing rooms prior to here so we could get to the fight. And you notice, uh, champion having trouble keeping uh, motionless. Those uh, gloves are eight ounces. Montoya gloves made in Mexico by Jimmy Montoya. They're just a little bit different. And by the way, they have card girls here. And boy, they are spectacular. You'll probably see a little bit later. All right, here we go into the round one. Schedule for 15 rounds. 10 point must scoring system. The long reach of Cardona and the red trunks. That'll be a factor. He has probably more speed with his hands, at least. We don't really know about his footwork, but we'll find that out very soon. Oh, two good solid punches by both fighters. Boy, they're head-to-head, toe-to-toe right now. This is a tiny ring, a little more than 14 feet square. Usually it's 18 or more. This is the junior featherweight division, so the tiny guys can handle this with a lot of agility. They have it. There you saw a good left hook by the champion in red on the right. Those are light yellow gloves. We'll soon find out now whether Randolph in blue, shorter of the two, has made a, enough of a transition from amateur boxing to professional, where just landing the white portion of an amateur glove on the opponent scores a point. A little different here. Strength is needed. You need some power. And that's what Randolph in blue has been working on, on weight machines. He has eight knockouts in 17 fights. The champion in red on the left at five feet eight. Ten knockouts in 29 fights. Randolph in blue may have a little blood trickling from uh, his left nostril. Los Wayne, junior featherweight championship out here in Seattle. For a first round, it's not a probing round. Good left jab by Randolph. Now, the right hand lead. They're short punches, not damaging, but scored by the two judges and the referee. Ricardo Cardona in red. Arrived in Seattle three days late. Apparently some visa problems as he came from Colombia via Puerto Rico. They got in here Friday, so we question his sharpness, whereas Randolph was able to work out in Tacoma, as scheduled, three weeks ago at Deer Lake at Muhammad Ali's camp. Oh, a good uppercut by uh, the champion Cardona on the left. It's a 10 to 10. Oh, a good right hand lead by Randolph, the challenger. This is the first round. Less than 30 seconds to go in it. Schedule for 15. Fifth left jab by Randolph. The blood coming off the nose of Randolph now and on the gloves of the champion. First cloud, Chuck Kodak went to the work on the bloody nose of the challenger in blue, shorter of the two, Leo Randolph of Tacoma. We'll see how that affects his breathing as we go along. And the scheduled 15 round WBA Junior Featherweight Championship bout. Randolph, a very tough opponent, who now is backing off just a bit, hoping to counter punch a little more, but still flicking out a stiff left jab. A looping right hand way off target. There was a right hand hook by the champion. 
champion. A missed uppercut, a missed left hook. Good body movement by Randolph of Tacoma. We'll be right back with more of this WBA Junior Featherweight Championship after this word from our local station. And this is round four. World Junior Featherweight Championship of the WBA. The champion circling around toward us now in the red trunks at 5'8". His opponent, the Olympic champion in his 18th fight, Leo Randolph of nearby Tacoma. His big opportunity here to try and join Leon Spinks and Sugar Ray Leonard at a world title following gold medals in Montreal. And after three rounds, we note that the champion delayed getting here, arriving on Friday, is not as sharp as usual. And having a little trouble with the uh, bandbox size of this ring, the sharpness of Randolph, the challenger, you saw the combination there, affected another two right-hand leads and then a little left hook. a solid right hand by Cardona. Randolph is taking every punch that the champion has thrown this far. A lot of punches being thrown and landed, which will tell the tale a little bit later on in this scheduled 15 rounder. Randolph and Blue doing a good job at uh, blocking the right hand of the champion in red. to beat Randolph to the punch, but thus far has not been able to do it. They kept off balance with both hands. Randolph has him against the ropes, and the champion is not showing a lot of ring generalship by staying there. And normally, he is a smart one in the ring. Minutes to go in the fourth round. All right, Rosadilla, the referee. Champion being caught repeatedly with right hand lead and missing with inside body punches. And uh, Randolph does not want to swing those wild books or he might get caught. Solid right hand, the best thrown by Randolph. The champion Cardona has never been knocked out. He has been on the deck though several times. He has 24 wins, four losses, and one draw, 10 knockouts, weighing 121 and a half. Randolph in blue, 121 and three quarters. It's dead alive. Round five, schedule 15, WBA Junior Featherweight Championship out. A Colombian. South American, Cardona the champion, has defended it successfully, 15 rounds in each case, five times, winning it May 1978 in Korea. First time in the United States, American television debut for the man in red, having a little trouble, not as sharp as we expected. But he came through four time zones, Organizing wait for a visa correction in Puerto Rico, finally getting here on Friday. And forging forward is the challenger, Leo Randolph. Oh, and a right hand lead by the champion as Randolph down. Walked into it by being overly aggressive. He got caught, and he may have a cut either above or beneath the left eye. This is the fifth round with about two minutes to go in it. Let's see how sharp the champion is. The mandatory three knockdown rule is in effect along with the mandatory eight count. And now trying to back away. There is a cut and a mouse under the left eye of Randolph trying to stay out of the range of Cardona. Cardona now will try to get that right hand power to the chin of Randolph. One error by being overly aggressive and moving forward with his hands down and he was hit. A minute and 15 before the bell ends round five, a crucial round for the challenger, the Olympic champion. Trying to clear the cobweb, but gets caught with a snapping left hook in the forehead. Damage under 
to the left side. Randolph and Blue, and there's a good job, which he must do to keep the champion off, off his face a minute to go. Randolph and Blue has to weather this round. His condition will tell now, because he got caught blood and hit the deck the seat of his pants. A missed right hand. Now the bell is 30 seconds. The blood now on the leg of Randolph, coming from a tiny cut under and perhaps above his left eye. And Cardona wants to get it over with. He may punch himself out. The battle and we're staying right here in Seattle. And here comes that 60 second rest. One minute pass for a mandatory eight count in the fifth round. So now the cornerman. Here is the knockdown. Now watch the right hand. See? He was moving forward and Randolph in blue dropped the dupe, both gloves, and the champion quickly saw the opening and just delivered that blow that put him down and in WBA rules. There's Chuck Boback. There's Joe Clow, who has worked with this fighter, Randolph, since he was nine years of age in the Tacoma Boys Club. That is Joe's wife, Dora, who is one of the seconds here in the corner of the challenge, the Olympic champion. The knockdown came at 150 of the fifth round. So now we'll see what the condition of Randolph, all the weeks of training, how he'll come out for the sixth round, and we'll see if we have an arm-weary Colombian champion, Ricardo Cardona. Round six. The tiny cut under and above the left eye of Randolph, closed successfully by the cornerman. Leo being cheered for now by the fans here on a Sunday afternoon of spring in Seattle. Now the champion looks not arm weary. He wants to end it here in the sixth round. In Spanish, they were, they were telling him to go get him. You knocked him down, get it over with. Now Randolph trying to stay inside. And moving in, he's got to keep that defense. He's got to keep the hands up. Cardona a slashing. His, his blows come from all sorts of angles. Those are the kind of shots that cause cuts. Flipping out that left jab. He needs to do it more often. Now there's blood coming from the nose of Cardona, the champion in red. Round six. by Randolph. And Randolph must be careful. Minutes to go, round six. The conditioning showing that Randolph shook the cobwebs after the fifth round knockdown. Doing a good job of coming back. 40 seconds left in the round. Very fine job of the referee. Almost unnoticed in the ring. seconds till the bell. 27 years old, lean and mean from Columbia. 
the champion, WBA junior featherweight Ricardo Cardona. He had his opponent, the challenger in blue. Cardona down in the fifth round, 150 of the round. Randolph has come back beautifully, good condition, to do some damage to the face of Cardona. No cuts on the face, a bloody nose, but there are swollen areas now under both eyes of Cardona in red. And during each round, the bleeding begins from the nose of Randolph in blue. And Randolph almost got caught by that same right hand that decked him in the fifth round. Cardona's one of his heaviest punches would be his right uppercut. So watch for that. That could be the telltale blow. It was his right hand. That was a several day. It hurt the champion. A right hand by Randolph. That is the champion in trouble. About a minute and a half remaining in this the seventh round. Schedule for 15. This is a lot more like a middleweight bout. Standing close range, toe to toe, short, punches, a missed right hand, a whistler by the champion. Falling inside beautifully. Randolph showing us some very good defensive work here. And again, Randolph with the right hand lead. And a left hook, left jab. Another left jab, two of them. Cardona is not getting off the mark as he did in the earlier round. Little wobbly in the legs right now. Cardona, perhaps he's wearing himself out. We'll hear the bell in about 30 seconds. of Randolph. A lot of tickets for both hands, both fighters. Champion was hurt in the last round. He's in red on the left by Randolph, the challenger. Watch here. You'll see the right hand, and that really shook him up. And now we're back in the eighth round. There's been one knockdown, and that was in the fifth round. Randolph on the seat of his pants from a right-hand lead by the champion Cardona of Columbia. He's in red. 121 and a half. Randolph from Tacoma. Now blood coming out of his mouth, the left side, at 121 and three quarters. Junior featherweight. <laughs> Cutting himself, flat-footed, trying to throw a bomb. And of course, with only eight knockouts. And there he caught him with a jab, following it up now. The champion obviously tired, but fighting back. Two minutes to go in round eight. Gotta be 
careful not to get hit with a right hand again. It put him down in the fifth round. This is the only the 18th professional bout for the Olympic champion. After 160 wins as an amateur, seven losses. down on the fifth and looking even better now stronger 22 years old one of eight children four brothers three sisters that interesting place of the champion cardona born in columbia 27 years ago his corner men manager guerrera and sans and zobala have really been talking gesturing heavily telling the champion to try to make it in. Now, earlier in the round, here is some of the punches, the jab especially, that shook up the champion again. Remember, Randolph in blue had him hurt in the previous round. So we'll see now just what the long trip from Colombia via Puerto Rico and the delay in getting here as he arrives on Friday will do to the remaining round of this scheduled 15 rounder. And we're ready, so is the referee, Larry. Rosa Dia of Los Angeles, there's the bell starting it. Ninth round underway for the World Championship. And as we try to keep the score, the 10 point plus, there's a good possibility as we look at it, see if you agree that Randolph the Olympic champion had his first title shot, has a slight lead, and is bombing away. We had a change in one judge because the Venezuelan judge did not arrive in time. So we have a veteran judge from the Seattle area, John Miazayas, ex-baseball umpire as well, along with Rogelio Perez of Panama. So in this international bout, we have two Americans and one Panamanian scoring the bout. Good job for the referees, Larry and Pillo. Piercing, eyeing the champion. Much taller, longer reach. Ooh, a wild right hand. Very dangerous, dangerous move by the challenger. Four strands of ropes in this 14 plus square foot ring. Tiniest we've ever seen. Good block punch by Randolph and Blue. Minutes to go in this the ninth round of the schedule 15. This is a very tiring type bout. A lot of punches being thrown. 